Hello, and thanks for your video response. I'm going to try an unscripted response here and just, just wing a response really quick. Uh, hopefully it'll go okay. Um, I don't think it necessarily really needs a um, written down rational rebuttal because uh, you're not really making an argument so much as just um, making some assertions. I think I understand what you're saying. You're saying that uh, God uh, isn't understood rationally and that uh, man's reasoning actually gets in the way of understanding God, that uh, understanding God is uh, something that happens through the heart, and um, at some point you have to have a revelation of the truth of the revelation of Moses and Paul and all those other characters in the Bible. Um, you're not making an argument based on reason. You're just asserting a bunch of statements about God that from the outside, I mean, people just say, well, how, how could you possibly know that? I mean, you're not supporting your statement with anything. Uh, you're not making a rational argument. You and you know that. You're cutting out reason right off the get-go, saying, you know, you don't find God by reason, and then you start preaching. So there's really no rational response to that. I mean, a child could explain the rational problems with what you're saying, um, I mean, what you're saying could be said by any cult leader, you know, David Koresh or the Branch Davidians and, or uh, the Heaven's Gate cult. Um, the same reasoning, it's not reasoning, but the same assertions you're making uh, can be made by anybody to support any religion. It's just a completely arbitrary thing. Uh, so, again, it's not rational, so I guess there's no point in me trying to um, respond to it uh, with a rational argument. Um, the whole thing hinges on sort of a, a testimony that God provides this revelation of the truth of the Bible, apparently. Um, and really the only way I can respond to that is uh, I don't believe it. Um, I haven't received a rev revelation like that. My wife has not received a rev revelation like that. She was raised Buddhist. Uh, a lot of people I know have not. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me um, that God would give some person a message to somebody else for them to relay to me. I've got some videos. You might have seen one, I think, specifically called uh, uh, A Message from God, where I kind of do a little tongue-in-cheek revelation from God, where God tells me that he doesn't give other people messages for me. Um, you might watch that just to sort of see where I'm coming from. Um, so it's a weird thing to respond to um, because you're just saying all kinds of things about reality that don't make any sense to me I'm supposed to believe that God made me and gave me a brain but he doesn't want me to use it um, that what I believe can go against what makes sense that uh, I, the, the truth doesn't withstand scrutiny that you've if you examine truth it will appear to be false or unsupported I, I'm sorry I just don't believe that for a second that's <laughs> I mean if there is a God I mean he gave me a brain he gave me a world that acts rationally that where there's very defined rules that we're discovering um, we don't see a world of chaos that a world of the supernatural. We don't see any of these things that you're claiming. There's no, there's no reason for me to believe any of this stuff that you're saying, unless I was to actually have this revelation that you're talking about. Um, it, it, what you're saying just makes no sense. And, and again, I think you know that. So, uh, I, I guess I'd just like to sum up a bit by saying. Um, uh, you also went on a little bit about uh, talking about how depraved humanity was, um, and I find that really sad that uh, you have such a low view of humanity. Uh, humanity is terrible, but humanity is beautiful. Humanity is wonderful. Humanity is, you know, humanity is what we are, that, that you think so... Uh, lowly about what you are, the, the, the self-hatred that I see 
in your testimony that, that comes from religion is really um, sad. It's really sad. And I hope that um, despite this very negative view you have of yourself and your fellow humans that you're able to uh, find a happiness uh, in this life um, because it is um, a wonderful planet and there are many many wonderful things and if I had actually written a script I probably could have talked about this a lot better than I am now but um, it's just it's, it's hard to put into words I and mean, there's things from my heart that are really hard to say that don't have anything to do with crazy supernatural religion of of you know gods that turn into men and have themselves killed to forgive you for how they made them um, you know I, when I look at the world I see a reasonable world a beautiful world a world that that follows rules that make sense um, I see people helping each other you know I see people needing help um, it, I see that humanity is our best hope and I think we're doing as good a job as could be expected given you know that we don't have any supernatural support so anyway try to not see humanity so on the negative side um, and uh, I'm sorry I don't see the revelation that uh, you talk about um, and it doesn't make any sense as you know uh, a child um, would be shocked at some of the things that you say are true if they didn't also have this revelation. Um, and again, thanks for your video.